What's up guys, Icy Cat here, and today we've got a brand new kind of bundle pack to talk about as Ubisoft finally introduces the much anticipated shield skins into the game. Now that the first one's been released, we can see if it's worth the wait, but is it? Find out next. So we're going to talk about the shield skins today, but tomorrow I'm going to be covering the new map Bartlett University. That'll be broken up into a series of a couple of videos covering topics from camera locations and trapdoors to the best murder hole spots, drone positions, and more. Shield skins are now here. Well, at least one is, but we know more will be coming down the road. The first one to kick things off comes in the new Bushido bundle pack from Montaigne. It's under the digital content tab in the shop. You can't buy this with Renown or Rainbow Credits, and it sells for $7.99 US. For that, you'll get a shield skin, a new matching headgear, and a theme charm. As with other bundle packs under digital content, you can't preview the items before you buy them. This is the key difference between items in digital content versus items from other sections of the shop. All you get to go by is the preview thumbnail, which is just an artist's rendering. So let's see what these actually look like in-game. This is the Fugaku skin for Montaigne's shield. It provides some unique metallic strips and accents along various seams on the shield, and has a mountain motif profiled on the center of the shield. It's very fitting, of course, since Montaigne is French for mountain. Along the bottom are rows of small bamboo strips that are tied on with blue string. You can see these effects carry over into the extendable side panels as well. The backing has a sort of paisley patterned cloth texture with blue grip pads and a metallic emblem set into the center. The metallic accents across the shield skin also have more of a goldish tint to them overall. Next is the Fujisan Universal Charm. This is fairly small as far as charms go, and when placed on the shield just dangles from the upper corner of the visor as you walk around. Then there's the headgear. This is the Suji Kabuto helmet, obviously a samurai-themed style for Montaigne. It has a large mesh grill visor trimmed with a brass or gold kind of border. The rest of the helmet is black, with the same metallic accents paired with black studs on the dome of the helmet, and those same small bamboo shingle strips with blue threading from the shield skin on the neck guard of the helmet. It's actually pretty similar to the base form factor of his default helmet, as that always had that same samurai-inspired shape to the helmet's design in general. I can do a little gameplay here, but there's honestly not much to show you from that perspective, as this is a skin bundle you won't be able to appreciate much of yourself from your own point of view. Other than the charm, the only time you're really going to see the helmet or the shield skin is in the operator menu when you select these pieces, and in the winner's gallery. These skins are more about how you look to other players. Unfortunately, I have no way to show you what it looks like from the third person perspective as none of the people I played with had it unlocked, so I would have needed someone else to have it too to show that when I recorded the video. There's a lot of cool detail in this shield, but honestly it's going to be for showing off for everyone else's benefit as you're just not going to be seeing much of it yourself. You can just barely catch some of the paisley pattern cloth around the exterior edges, and of course the tint on the metallic edging is a bit different, but that's about all you're going to see from a first person perspective. As cool as the shield skins might be in concept, or not depending on your opinion, this is their one major downfall. You're buying a visual customization you won't spend much time seeing. We know there's a similar Japanese themed shield skin coming for Blitz that we've seen leaked images of, and we saw one other kind of World War II camo themed skin on Montaigne from the Season 4 show match live stream. So there are definitely more coming. Hopefully, not all of these will be restricted to just digital content where you have to spend actual money on them, as it would be nice to unlock some of these for Renown too. Pretty sure at least the Blitz skin will be in a premium digital content paid bundle like this one though, as it too was shown with a matching headgear of a similar style to this one. Now this brings up another point. People have been letting me know in the comments ever since Season 4 first came out that they've seen a few people with these shield skins already. In fact, someone leaking these in the first place is exactly what I was just saying with the Blitz skin bundle that's yet to be released. There are a few people who have hacked store content and gotten access to things they shouldn't have yet. Look, there's no way to mince words on this. It's theft. They've hacked for free what the rest of us have to wait and pay for. People can and have gotten their accounts permanently banned when they've been caught doing this. Have some people not been caught yet? Yeah, absolutely. But honestly, why run the risk? And when you get permanently banned, it's probably not just going to be from Rainbow Six, it's going to be your Uplay account tied to any of the Ubisoft games that you might play associated with that account. 
Now you might be able to go and create a new account and get around it that way, but honestly, is it worth all that trouble and everything you've lost that you've built into your games and your account already to just have that all blown out? And I know that no matter what I say, there's some people that are still gonna try to justify why that's either no big deal or why it's somehow okay to do. I think some people tend to think it's not that big of a deal because they're behind the anonymity of a monitor with a keyboard and mouse and they don't think it's the same as like shoplifting or something. But honestly, at the end of the day, it is. And while there might be some people that can manage to get away with it, there's also some people that will get caught and pay some very real consequences for it too. So now that the first shield skin has been introduced into the game, expect to see more of these begin trickling in. What do you think of these? Are they a cool addition for visual customization? Or would you rather not see these kinds of things done to shields? What ideas would you have for shield skin designs? Let me know down in the comments below, or you can share with me over at IcyCat25 on either Facebook or Twitter. And also remember to look for the new videos tomorrow regarding Bartlett University. Like I said, we'll be talking about everything from where the cameras and trapdoors are to the best murder hole spots, best drone positions, everything like that. Thanks a lot for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time.